reduce, reuse, recycle. Learn how reducing, reusing, and recycling can help you, your community, and the environment by saving money, energy, and natural resources. Recycling programs are managed at the state and local level find information on recycling your community. According to Andrew Dent, there is no such thing as throwing something away when you toss a used food container, broken toy, or old pair of socks into the trash. Those things inevitably end up in every growing landfills. But we can get smarter about the way we make and remake our product. Then share exciting examples of this, the idea of using and reusing what you need so you don't have to purchase anything new, as well as advances in material science, like electronics made of nanocellulose and enzymes that can help make plastic infinitely recyclable. Explore Recycle City to learn how its residents reduce waste, use less energy, and even save money by doing simple things at home, at work, and in their neighborhood. What we can do in reducing waste? Find out what we can do to help make a difference in our environment every day. Whether you are at home, on the go, in the office, or at school. There are many opportunities to go green by reducing, reusing, and recycling. The best place to start making a difference is right in your own home. Learn how you can reduce, reuse, recycle materials to decrease household waste. According to a UN Environment Program study, the Philippines is the fourth greatest producer of solid waste among Asian nations with 14.66 million tons reduced per year. There are common recyclable things like paper, batteries, plastics, glass, and many more. Deciding to recycle items is just the first step. You also want to make sure the items are recycled correctly. What are the three types of recycling? Automobiles are the most recycled consumer goods according to statistics. 8% of all abandoned automobiles are recycled. Knowing the different form of recycling can assist you in determining what can and cannot be recycled. The recycling business is today more vital than it has ever been. Every year, there is a greater demand for people to recycle goods that they discard properly. Well, go through the three forms of recycling and why they are vital in this tutorial. To begin, you need to know that recycling is the process of recovering or reusing materials or goods that would otherwise be wasted or thrown away. Recycling is defined as the practice of reusing materials or goods rather than discarding them instead of throwing away your paper jar. You may recycle it and use it to store other food. When you drop off recyclables, they will be collected and recycled to create new items. This prevents them from ending up in landfills. All recyclables will fall into three types of recycling. Primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary recycling is where a recyclable material or product can be recovered or reused without altering its current state. A lot of primary recyclables will be repurposed for the same use as it was created for. Primary recyclable should not be changed in any way. 
you think of this type of recyclable as second-hand used, they be utilized by you, donate, or sold. Secondary recycling. Without needing to reprocess them, secondary recycling will reuse. As a result, the material might be utilized in a different way than it originally intended. This is common with DIY project and it may a big impact in keeping recyclable out of landfills. Tertiary recycling. Tertiary recycling entails modifying items or materials chemically to make them reusable. This can be carried out either internally or outside. If the recyclables are external, they are retrieved and treated in a public facility. Sorting recyclables and putting them in containers to be carried by reprocessing facility would be involved where no public service is involved. Internal recycling is used. Internal tertiary recycling may be practiced by some companies or businesses. We have talked about the three different types of recycling, but what about the various materials that we can recycle? The first type of recycling can be classified by the type of material that is being recycled. Glass recycling, paper recycling, metal recycling, plastics, and textile recycling, and finally electronic recycling. Other types of recycling are grouped by the nature of recycling procedure. By default, recycling a material produces that same material so the paper you recycle at the office would be converted into fresh office paper. Example, waste paper and cardboard. Every year, 34% of corrugated cardboard boxes are recycled, according to AAB.com. Every year, as estimated, 90 billion cardboard boxes are wasted. Around 75 billion of these are recycled. Paper and cardboard recycling is vital because it helps to converse forests up to 17 trees can be saved for every ton of paper and cardboard recycling. Plastic recycling. There are tons of different types of plastics, so it may be hard you to know which ones are recyclable. Here is a breakdown of the various types of plastic, and if they are recyclable, keep in mind you will have to check with your city guidelines and ensure they accept these types of plastic for recycling. Wood recycling. Wood is a renewable resources and can be repurposed for many different uses. You may re repurpose wood for building materials or recycle them to be used as much for landscaping. Some low-grade woods can be used for environmentally friendly fuel. Glass recycling. Glass is something you want to keep out of landfills because it does not fully decompose. This will lead to landfill because becoming too full, most people do not know the glass is 100% recyclable. This means every part of the glass can be reused. It is a material that will never lose its purity or quality. Therefore, consumer must take the step to properly recycle their glass. So, why we should recycle? When we recycle, we have our raw material to do the usage of our energy, cut down on air pollution, and water pollution have the opportunity to lower greenhouse gas emissions. There are many benefits of recycling. Decreased waste that goes into landfills 
and incinerator. Converse natural resources such as timber, water, and minerals. Increased economic security, prevent pollution, saves energy, supports American manufacturing and preserve valuable resources, and help create jobs and many more. Few people realize that on top of physical recycling of resources, individuals and businesses need to recycle their retired IT assets to maintain the security of data that may be stored on them. Computers, especially laptops, tablets, faxes, printers, scanner, network devices, these forms of a e-waste can store potentially harmful information that needs to be removed with a secure data destruction service. So last, we need to do recycling because recycling prevents the emissions of many greenhouse gases.